The Quran, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans, Quranite.com. Part 1. Chapter 1. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Praise belongs to God, the Lord of all mankind, the Almighty, the Merciful, Master of the Day of Judgment. Thee alone will we serve, and from thee alone will we seek help. Guide thou us to the straight path, the path of those whom thou hast favoured, not of those who incur wrath, nor of those who go astray. Chapter 2 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful, Elif Lam Mim That is the covenant about which there is no doubt, guidance for those of prudent fear, those who believe in the unseen and uphold the duty and spend of what we provide them, and those who believe in what is sent down to thee and what was sent down before thee and of the hereafter are certain. These are upon guidance from their Lord and these are the successful. Those who are indifferent to warning it is the same to them whether thou warnest them or thou hast not warned them. They do not believe whose hearts God has sealed and whose hearing and over whose sight is a covering, and they have a tremendous punishment. And among men is he who says, We believe in God and the last day, and they are not believers. They would deceive God and those who heed warning, but they deceive only themselves, and they perceive not. In their hearts is disease, so God increases them in disease, and they have a painful punishment for that about which they lied. And when it is said to them, Work not corruption in the earth, they say, We are but those who do right. In truth, it is they who are the workers of corruption, but they perceive not. And when it is said to them, Believe as mankind believes, they say, Shall we believe as the foolish believe? In truth, it is they who are the foolish, but they know not. And when they meet those who heed warning, they say, We believe. But when they are alone with their shaitans, they say, We are with you. We are but mocking. God mocks them and assists them in wandering blindly in their inordinacy. These are they who sell guidance for error, so their transaction profits them not, and they are not rightly guided. Their example is like the example of one who kindles a fire. When it has illuminated round about him, God takes away their light and leaves them in darkness. They do not see. Deaf, dumb, blind, they will not return or like a thundercloud from the sky, wherein is darkness, thunder and lightning, they thrust their fingers in their ears against the thunderbolts for fear of death. But God encompasses those who span guidance while claiming virtue. The lightning nigh snatches away their sight. Whenever it gives them light, they walk therein, and when it darkens against them, they stand. And had God willed, he would have taken away their hearing and their sight. God is powerful over all things. O mankind, serve your Lord who created you, and those before you, that you might be in prudent fear. Who made the earth for you a carpet, and the sky a structure, and sent down from the sky water, then brought forth thereby some fruits as provision for you. So make not equals to God, and you know. And if you be in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant, then bring a surah the like thereof, and call your witnesses other than God, if you be truthful. But if you do not, and you will not, then be in prudent fear of the fire, whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And bear thou glad tidings to those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, that they have gardens beneath which rivers flow, 
As often as they are provided with the fruit thereof, they say, This is what was given us as provision before, and they are given thereby a likeness. And they have therein purified spouses, and they abide therein eternally. God is not ashamed to present an example, be it of a gnat or what is above it. Then as for those who heed warning, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. And as for those who are indifferent to warning, they say, What means God by this example? He leads astray many thereby, and he guides many thereby, and he leads astray thereby, only the wantonly perfidious, those who declare null the pledge of God after its agreement, and sever what God commanded thereby to be joined, and create corruption in the earth. These are the losers. How will you deny God? When you were dead, he gave you life. Then will he give you death. Then will he give you life. Then to him will you be returned. He it is who created for you what is in the earth altogether. Then he turned to the sky and fashioned seven heavens, and he knows all things. And when thy Lord said to the angels, I am placing a successor in the earth, they said, Wilt thou place therein one who will do harm therein and shed blood, when we give glory with thy praise and are holy unto thee? He said, I know what you know not. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then presented he them to the angels and said, Tell me the names of these, if ye be truthful. They said, Glory be unto thee, we have no knowledge, save what thou hast taught us. Thou art the knowing, the wise. He said, O Adam, tell thou them their names. And when he had told them their names, he said, Said I not to you that I know the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and I know what you reveal and what you conceal? And when we said to the angels, Submit to Adam, then they submitted, save Iblis. He refused and was proud, and was of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And we said, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden, and eat thereof freely wheresoever you will. But approach not this tree, for then will you be among the wrongdoers. But the shaitan caused them to fall therefrom, so he expelled them from what they were in. And we said, Get you down, an enemy to one another, and for you on the earth are place and goods for a time. Then learned Adam words from his Lord, and he turned towards him. He is the receptive, the merciful. We said, Get you down from it altogether. If there comes to you guidance from me, then whoso follows my guidance they need not fear, nor will they regret. But those who are indifferent to warning and repudiate our proofs, these are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. O children of Israel, remember my favour wherewith I favoured you, and fulfil the pledge to me. I will fulfil the pledge to you, and me. Fear me. And believe in what I have sent down, confirming what is with you, and be not first to deny it. And sell not my proofs for a cheap price, and me be in prudent fear of me. And clothe not truth with vanity, nor conceal the truth, and you know. And uphold the duty, and give the purity, and be lowly with the lowly. Enjoin you virtue upon mankind, and forget yourselves when you read the law. Will you then not use reason? And seek help in patience and duty, and it is hard save for the humble, those who consider that they will meet their Lord, and that to him they are returning. O children of Israel, remember my favour wherewith I favoured you, and that I preferred you above all mankind, and be in prudent fear of the day no soul will avail a soul anything, nor will intercession be accepted from it, 
nor will compensation be taken from it, nor will they be helped. And when we delivered you from the house of Firaun, they were afflicting you with an evil punishment, killing your sons and sparing your women. And in that was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And when we divided for you the sea, then we delivered you and drowned the house of Firaun, and you were looking on. And when we appointed for Musa forty nights, then took you up the calf when he had gone, and you were wrongdoers. Then we pardoned you after that, that you might be grateful. And when we gave Musa the law and the division, that you might be rightly guided. And when Musa said to his people, O oh, my people, you have wronged your souls by your taking up the calf, so turn to your Maker and kill yourselves, that is best for you in the sight of your Maker. Then turned he towards you, he is the receptive, the merciful. And when you said, O oh Musa, we will not believe thee until we see God plainly, then the thunderbolt took you, and you were looking on. Then we raised you up after your death, that you might be grateful, and we caused the cloud to overshadow you, and sent down upon you manna and quail, eat of the good things that we have provided you. And they wronged us not, but they wronged their souls. And when we said, Enter this city and eat freely of what you will, and enter the gate in submission, and say a mitigation, we will forgive you your errors, and will increase the doers of good. Then those who did wrong changed the saying to other than what was said to them, and we sent down a scourge from the sky upon those who did wrong, because they were wantonly perfidious. And when Musa asked water for his people, and we said, Strike thou the rock with thy staff, then there gushed therefrom twelve springs. Each tribe knew its drinking place. Eat and drink of the provision of God, and commit not evil in the earth, working corruption. And when you said, O Musa, we are weary of one food, so call thou to thy Lord for us, that he bring forth for us of what the earth puts forth of its herbs, and its cucumbers, and its corn, and its lentils, and its onions. He said, Would you exchange for what is temporal, what is better? Get you down to Misr, then will you have what you ask. And humiliation and poverty were pitched upon them, and they incurred wrath from God because they denied the proofs of God. And they killed the prophets without cause because they opposed and exceeded all bounds. Those who heed warning, and those who hold to Judaism, and the Nazarenes, and the Sabaeans, whoso believes in God and the last day and works righteousness, they have their reward with their Lord, and they need not fear, nor will they regret. And when we took your agreement and raised the mount above you, hold fast what we give you, and remember what is therein, that you might be in prudent fear. Then turned you away after that, and were it not for the bounty of God upon you and his mercy, you would have been among the losers. And you knew those among you who transgressed the Sabbath. Then we said to them, Be despised, apes, and we made it an exemplary lesson to those at its time and that following it, and an exhortation to those of prudent fear. And when Musa said to his people, God commands you to sacrifice a heifer, they said, Dost thou make mockery of us? He said, I seek refuge in God, lest I be of the ignorant. They said, Call thou to thy Lord for us, that he make plain to us what she is. He said, He says, She is a heifer neither old nor young, middling in between. Then do what you are commanded. They said, Call thou to thy Lord for us, that he make plain to us what her hue is. He said, He says she is a yellow heifer, 
Bright is her hue, making glad the beholders. They said, Call thou to thy Lord for us, that he make plain to us what she is. Heifers seem alike to us, and, if God should will, we will be rightly guided. He said, He says, She is a heifer, neither broken to plough the earth, nor to water the tilth. Perfect, no blemish on her. They said, Now hast thou brought the truth. Then they sacrificed her, though they had hardly done it. And when you killed a soul, you disputed about it, but God was to bring forth what you concealed. And we said, Strike it in some of them. Thus gives God life to the dead, and demonstrates his proofs to you, that you might use reason. Then your hearts became hard after that, and they are like stones or harder. And among stones is that from which gush forth rivers, and among them are those that split, and water issues forth. And among them are those that fall down from fear of God, and God is not unmindful of what you do. Do you hope that they should believe you, when some of them listened to the word of God, then twisted it after understanding it? And they know. And when they meet those who heed warning, they say, We believe. But when they are alone with one another, they say, Do you recount to them what God has revealed to you, that they might argue against you before your Lord? Will you then not use reason? Or do they not know that God knows what they keep secret and what they make known? And among them are those unschooled. They know not the law save vain desires, and they only guess. So woe to those who write the law with their hands, then say, This is from God, that they might sell it for a cheap price. So woe to them for what their hands write, and woe to them for what they earn. And they say, The fire will not touch us save days numbered. Say thou, Have you taken a pledge with God, for God does not fail in his pledge, or do you ascribe to God what you know not? Verily, whoso earns evil, and his errors encompass him, those are the companions of the fire wherein they abide, eternally. And those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, they are the companions of the garden, wherein they abide eternally. And when we took an agreement of the children of Israel, serve not, save God, and towards parents, good conduct, and towards kin, and the fatherless, and the poor, and speak kindly to mankind, and uphold the duty and give the purity. Then you turned away, save a few among you, and you were disinclined. And when we took your agreement, shed not your blood, and expel not your own from your homes, then did you confirm and bear witness. Then are you those who kill your own, and expel some of you from their homes, assisting against them in falsehood and enmity. And if there come to you captives, you ransom them. But unlawful for you was their expulsion. Do you believe in part of the law and deny part? Then the reward of him among you who does this is only degradation in the life of this world. And on the day of resurrection they are sent back to the harshest punishment. And God is not unmindful of what you do. These are they who purchased the life of this world at the price of the hereafter, so the punishment will not be lightened for them, and they will not be helped. And we gave Musa the law, and sent the messengers after him. And we gave Asa, son of Maryam, clear evidence, and strengthened him with the spirit of holiness. Is it not that whenever there came to you a messenger with what your souls desired not, you were proud, and some you rejected, and some you killed? And they say, Our hearts are covered. The truth is, God has cursed them for their denial, for little do they believe. And when there came to them a decree from God confirming what was with them, 
and they before sought victory over those who were indifferent to warning, then when there came to them what they recognized, they denied it. But the curse of God is upon those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Evil is that for which they sold themselves by denying what God sent down through sectarian zealotry, that God should send down of his bounty upon whom he wills of his servants. So they incurred wrath upon wrath. And for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is a humiliating punishment. And when it is said to them, believe in what God has sent down, they say, we believe in what was sent down to us and they deny what is beyond it, when it is the truth, confirming what is with them. Say thou, why then killed you the prophets of God before, if you be believers? And Musa came to you with clear evidence. Then while he was away you took up the calf, and you were wrongdoers. And when we took your agreement and raised the mount above you, hold fast what we give you, and listen, they said, we hear and we oppose, and they were filled with drinking the calf in their hearts by their denial. Say thou, evil is what your faith enjoins upon you if you be believers. Say thou, if the abode of the hereafter with God be for you to the exclusion of mankind, then wish for death if you be truthful, and never will they wish for it, because of what their hands have sent before them. And God knows the wrongdoers, and thou wilt find them the greediest of men for life, and among those who ascribe a partnership. One of them would love to be given the span of a thousand years, but it would not remove him from the punishment were he to be given the span, and God sees what they do. Say thou, whoso is an enemy to Jibreel, and he it is, who brings it down upon thy heart by God's leave, confirming what is within its scope, and as a guidance and glad tidings for the believers, whoso is an enemy to God, and his angels, and his messengers, and Jibreel, and Michal, God is an enemy to those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, and we have sent down to thee clear proofs, and only the wantonly perfidious deny them. Whenever they make a pledge, do not some among them reject it? The truth is, most of them do not believe. And when there comes to them a messenger from God, confirming what is with them, some of those in possession of the law cast the law of God behind their backs as if they knew not and they follow what the shaitans read out during the reign of Suleiman. And Suleiman denied not, but the shaitans denied, teaching men sorcery, and what was sent down upon the two kings at Babylon, Harud and Marud. And they taught no one until they had said, We are but a means of denial, so deny thou not. Then from them learn they that by which they cause division between a man and his wife. But they harm no one thereby, save by God's leave. And they learn what harms them and profits them not. And they knew that whoso buys it has in the hereafter no share. And evil is that for which they sell their souls, had they known. And had they believed and been in prudent fear, recompense from God would have been better had they known. O you who heed warning, say not, comply thou with us, but say, examine thou us, and listen. And for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is a painful punishment. There neither love those who are indifferent to warning among the doctors of the law, nor the idolaters, that there be sent down upon you any good from your Lord. But God chooses for his mercy whom he wills, and God is one possessing tremendous bounty. What proof we remove or cause to be forgotten, we bring one better than it, or the like thereof. Knowest thou not that God is powerful over all things? 
Knowest thou not that God, to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth? And you have, besides God, neither ally nor helper. If you desire to question your messenger, as Musa was questioned before, and whoso exchanges faith for denial has strayed from the evenness of the way, many among the doctors of the law long to turn you back as atheists after your faith out of envy from their souls after the truth has become clear to them. But forgive and forbear until God brings his command. God is powerful over all things. And uphold the duty and give the purity. And what good you send ahead for your souls, you will find it with God. God sees what you do. And they say, none enters the garden save such as hold to Judaism or are Nazarenes. Those are their vain desires. Say thou, bring your evidence, if you be truthful. Verily, whoso submits his countenance to God and is a doer of good, for him is his reward with his Lord. And they need not fear, nor will they regret. And the rabbinic Jews say, the Nazarenes have nothing to stand upon. And the Nazarenes say, the rabbinic Jews have nothing to stand upon when they read the law. Thus say those who know not likewise, and God will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differed. And who is more unjust than he who hinders the places of worship of God, lest his name be remembered therein, and seeks to undermine them? These, it was not for them to enter them save in fear. They have degradation in this world, and they have in the hereafter a tremendous punishment. And to God belong the east and the west. Whithersoever you turn, there is the countenance of God. God encompasses, knows. And they say, God has taken a son. Glory be unto him. The truth is, to him belongs what is in the heavens and the earth. To him is everything devoutly dutiful, the originator of the heavens and the earth and when he decrees a thing he but says to it be thou and it is and those who know not say oh that god would but speak to us or a proof but come to us thus said those before them likewise their hearts are similar we have made plain the proofs for people who are certain we sent thee with the truth as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner, and thou wilt not be asked about the companions of hell. And the rabbinic Jews will not be pleased with thee, nor will the Nazarenes, until thou follow their creed. Say thou, the guidance of God, that is guidance. And if thou follow their vain desires after the knowledge which has come to thee, thou wilt have from God neither ally nor helper. Those whom we gave the law read it, with the reading due it, these believe in it, and whoso denies it, these are the losers. O children of Israel, remember my favour wherewith I favoured you, and that I preferred you over all mankind, and be in prudent fear of the day no soul will avail a soul anything, nor will compensation be accepted from it, nor will intercession benefit it, nor will they be helped. And when his Lord tried Ibrahim with words, he fulfilled them. He said, I will make thee a leader for mankind, said he, and of my progeny. He said, my pledge does not extend to the wrongdoers. And when we made the house a meeting place for mankind and a place of security, and make from the station of Ibrahim a place of duty. And we commissioned Ibrahim and Ismail, purify my house for those who move about, and those who remain, and the lowly, the submitting. And when Ibrahim said, My Lord, make thou this a secure land, and provide thou its people some fruits, such of them as believe in God, and the last day, he said, and whoso denies, I will let him enjoy a little. Then will I drive him to the punishment of the fire, and evil is the journey's end. 
And when Ibrahim and Ismail elevated the precepts of the house, our Lord, be thou accepting of us, thou art the hearing, the knowing. Our Lord, make thou us submitted to thee, and of our progeny a community submitted to thee, and show thou us our rights, and turn thou towards us. Thou art the relenting, the merciful. Our Lord, raise thou up among them a messenger from them, reading to them thy proofs, and teaching them the law and wisdom, and increasing them in purity. Thou art the mighty, the wise. And who is averse to the creed of Ibrahim, save he who deceives himself? And we chose him in this world, and in the hereafter he is among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Submit thou, he said, I submit to the Lord of all mankind. The same did Ibrahim enjoin upon his sons, as did Yaqub. O my sons, God has chosen the doctrine for you, so die not, save you be submitted. If you were witnesses when death was present with Yaqub, when he said to his sons, What will you serve after me? They said, We will serve thy God and God of thy fathers, Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq, one God, and to him are we submitted. That is a community which has come and gone. It has what it earned, and you have what you earn, and you will not be questioned about what they did. And they say, Be such as hold to Judaism, or are Nazarenes to be rightly guided. Say thou, Nay, the creed of Ibrahim inclining to truth, and he was not of the idolaters. Say, we believe in God, and what is sent down to us, and what was sent down to Ibrahim, and Ismail, and Ishaq, and Yaqub, and the grandsons, and what was given to Musa, and Isa, and the prophets from their Lord. We make no division between any of them, and to him are we submitted. Then if they believe in the like of that in which you believe, they have been rightly guided. But if they turn away, they are but in schism, and God will suffice thee against them, and he is the hearing, the knowing. The immersion of God, and who is better than God to immerse? And him do we serve. Say thou, Dispute you with us concerning God, when he is our Lord and your Lord? And to us be our works, and to you be your works, and to him are we sincere. If you say that Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub and the grandsons were such as hold to Judaism or Nazarenes, say thou, know you best, or does God? And who is more unjust than he who conceals a witness he has from God? And God is not unmindful of what you do. That is a community which has come and gone. It has what it earned, and you have what you earn. And you will not be questioned about what they did. <laughs>